The situation with The Completionist has blown up the gaming industry over the past few weeks, but it looks like things are not going to be dying down anytime soon because now his cameo has been patched out of Sea of Stars. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube membership. Now, in the span of uploading content to YouTube, I've never really had to talk about this individual except for when the G4 controversy was going on because he was one of the people who was part of G4 and ultimately decided to back Frosk's rant about sexism in gaming. But over the past few weeks, he has been accused of several major things that he now has practically admitted to. I'm not going to read, you know, every little update that has happened in this case, but I will give a quick summary before we get into kind of the meat of this video. So, it says, the Open Hand Foundation charity, which YouTuber The Completionist has had an active role in, has been accused of keeping public donations despite claiming the money is being spent on dementia research. YouTubers Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers uploaded videos of their investigation into Gerard, better known as The Completionist, and his charity Open Hand Foundation. It was alleged that Open Hand Foundation, which was founded by The Completionist's father, in memory of his wife and in which the YouTuber and his four siblings play an active role in, according to its website, had more than $600,000 in donations untouched in a bank account and had no evidence of paying that money forward to organizations working against dementia. Now, of course, this was a massive scandal because we are not talking about like a couple thousand dollars. We are talking six hundred thousand dollars but he actually decided to come out and make a response to the fraud allegations against him and his family's open hand foundation to which uh it was said that he actually had been withholding the money and he now has paid it and it's great that he has paid it do not get me wrong but he should have never kept it in the first place it says, hey everyone, I know you have all had questions. I want to assure you that the funds we had raised together through IndieLand and the Open Hand Foundation are safe, accounted for, and have been donated. This was on the 9th, but he has since then made a video basically attacking anybody who brought up these accusations, anybody who believed these accusations, and then said that he was, you know, disappointed that he was not more straightforward regarding the foundation's timeline for making donations, but ultimately, they were held on to for years, he was never transparent with people, and ultimately, what he did was an extremely scummy thing, and of course, now there is a major, major update because Sea of Stars is being patched, and the developers are actually removing his cameo from the game. It says the director of the Sabotage Studio developed turn-paced RPG Sea of Stars, which has been a major release this year, has announced via the official Sabotage Studio's Discord server that the team will launch a patch to remove the content creator, the completionist, from the game. The decision results as of, of because of the recent controversy, and it was said a small patch will be going live on Steam and be submitted to consoles soon to replace the Builder NPC in Mirth. We arrived at this decision after carefully monitoring events over the past few weeks, and while it is not our place to pass judgment, we do make it a priority to maintain a positive and optimistic space that reflects the spirit of our intentions and our community uh, what they are, thank you. Now, this is not a form of cancellation, and I know people are going to say it is, but it's not, because he was accused of something, and it was proven that he did it. He even admitted it, so it's not based on an opinion on their take on something. It's based on something he did that has to do with legal issues like taxes, the IRS, and defrauding people. This actually reminds me a little bit of the John Tron situation, but in a different way because the John Tron situation was just straight up cancellation. John Tron back in 2017 was being cut from ukulele after spouting what Polygon deemed as racist views. He made a few jokes. Uh, he made some comments that 
you know, were equated to being, you know, racist and anti-immigrant. Yes, I don't think that he probably should have went online with the audience size that he had and, you know, put his, uh, you know, take out there about politics. But ultimately, he was canceled just for his own opinions. The same thing happened more recently that I talked about with Nick Merckx. Um, he had his skin removed from Call of Duty over, again, what was deemed as controversial pride comments, even though he basically just said we need to protect children. Um, and as a father, that's, you know, what he had said, and that's how he felt, and that was, you know, his right. That is his right. But when it comes to, again, the completion, it's, it is a completely different situation, and ultimately, it's not cancellation. Now, I get why they've patched it. They are embarrassed to have ever put a reference to him in the game, and it's not their fault. They didn't know about it. They didn't know that this was going to happen, so I get why they didn't want to, you know, be associated with him. Um, but I believe, like most content, he was part of the original game, so it should be an option to have him be part of the game or not at this point. They should be offering the patch, and that is one thing, and perfectly fine, but people should be able to deny this patch and keep him in the game if they wanted. The only reason I think that there should be an option is for the sake of game preservation, because the content was in the original release, so therefore it should not be erased from history, and I think what he did was extremely, extremely scummy, and I know that I would use the patch to remove him from my game, but ultimately, you know, yes, I do think that it should be an option. And of course, there have been several creators to come out and talk about the situation. One most notably is Pat the NES Punk, and I'm not going to read this whole entire, um, this whole entire statement because, of course, it is very long. He does give a, give a lot of context, but I just wanted to talk about the money side of things for a minute. So as you can see, uh, he said that he is not satisfied with the response and explanation from Gerard and the Foundation. While it is positive that a monetary donation has finally been made to benefit dementia research, the fact that it only occurred due to pressure from concerned YouTubers is not acceptable, which I 1000% agree with. He should have done this years ago. He should have been constantly donating the money. And ultimately, he, he would be still sitting on that money um, if he was was not being pressured by, you know, outside sources, basically. Unfortunately, the money donated by trusting fans and sponsors has not only lost significant buying power over the past several years due to inflation, but it has been severely diminished by expenses totaling at least $125,000, some of which are not detailed well due to nebulous reporting on the Open Hand Foundation's public 990 PF filings. This does not even touch Touch upon all the lost critical years of research these donations could have helped fund over the past several years. Yeah, again, we're not talking about a few thousand dollars here. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. That is a a massive amount of money that could have been donated. And right now, research with those funds could be going on, but that did not happen because they decided to hold on to this money. It's such a terrible and such a shitty situation overall. And honestly, it breaks my heart to see because now, of course, if there are other larger creator creators out there who want to, you know, do charity drives, they are going to face scrutiny and people are constantly going to be looking over their shoulder going, did you do this right? Did you do that right? And it just means that there is less trust between the audiences and content creators. And look, I'm not going to name names, but there are YouTubers out there who are defending him, which, hey, it's, it's, it's ultimately your take, but how can you defend what he did? He should just probably move on to another career and hope that when the lawyers and the IRS get through everything, he didn't actually break the law, even though it seems like he did. But if he did or not, what he did at the end of the day was extremely 
scummy all of these years telling people the money was going to organizations that never worked with him and it wasn't just once it was repeatedly and that is why I would never trust him again because he has a pattern of doing these events collecting the money and then of course putting it into a bank account and never you know touching it again never sending it where it needed to be sent and he was not the only person that was part of this foundation but again it was a family run family owned foundation so clearly something a little bit suspicious was going on there but it's just a sad situation all around to see uh that you know years of research down the drain all of this money that people gave him because they trusted him went absolutely nowhere and now the sea of stars developers are releasing this patch that removes the completionist i uh, am not blaming them you know again they did not know that this controversy was going to happen and i completely understand why they wanted to distance themselves from him but i do think that this patch should ultimately be optional for the sake of things like game preservation but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.